Hey guys, what's up? Um, my name is John. I have bipolar disorder. I just recently started making these vlogs. Today I was uh, got a chance to dive into this book, uh, Addiction and Mood Disorders. Um, I didn't dive too much into it. I really just opened up a page and uh, it brought me to uh, coping with people who tell you to stop taking medication. Um, now this happened to me I don't know maybe once or twice but I can recall one time but you know it's like th it was it was like new to me getting told I got a, I'm bipolar and um, then saying okay here you're gonna have to be on medication for the rest of your life and then you have somebody who's like who says you're not bipolar or oh you don't need those meds you can you can white knuckle it right um, but like it's, in this book, um, it's like telling you, you know, it's like, so if you're, if you're told you have a heart disease, do you think someone's going to tell you to stop taking your heart medication? Because they want, you know, they don't want you to die. You know, it's kind of the same, you know, it's pretty much the same thing. It's like, you can't just assume that somebody or think you're the doctor. Oh, you don't need those. So if anybody ever tells you that, you know, respond. Would you, if I had heart disease, would you tell me to stop taking my heart medication? So, just a thought. I just wanted to show the book again, Addiction and Mood Disorders, uh, Denise C. Daly, a guide for clients and family. So if you wanted to check that book out, um, this was actually recommended by my therapist along with a couple other books. Today I think uh, we got another tag round going um, for pro or pyrohyzer. I don't always say pro hyzer, pyrohyzer. It's actually like worldwide, I think, or, or at least country in the United States. So gonna have a nice Sunday afternoon. All right, let's do it. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna run to the grocery store, get some essentials, and off to another tag round. Pyro hyzer. And then it's probably be dark because it gets dark like five o'clock around here. So alright. See you later. Yeah, the one for the one the one you stole. No, I didn't steal. I've just Charles Ross did it. I've just Scott Rico. That's right. That's what we do it over here. Shit. Man, you are Mexican. <laughs> The oh, and the McDonald's cup. You're damn right. <laughs> <laughs> to be discreet. <laughs> All right, what's happening, y'all? I just uh, got home from playing another disc golf round. Today was the Pyro Hazards. Like a nationwide tag, we do a Sunday thing. We had about 15 golfers today. Another exciting round, we had um, Old Man Phil hit another ace. I think it was the same hole, second one in five days. This one was her big bucks, like almost $500. So it was pretty crazy. And then uh, I shot a right, I shot an even. Two bogeys and two birdies. Um, I think a lot too is not just the my game confidence like having confidence in my game it's just like having confidence in myself you know um i have a trouble i think with uh like that book the four agreements with uh taking things personally or making assumptions and just like being able to you know have confidence self-confidence um not just in disc golf but so, um, I'm working on a video. This is my episode three. This talking to you now would be my episode four. I'm gonna watch this fireproof. One of my friends, he's the president of the Shady Oaks Disc Golf Club. Um, you know, he he saw some things on the internet on the internet where he knows I'm going through some struggles, and he, uh, you know, it's nice of him. He thought about me to say that this this really helped him and. You know, it's, it says the number one inspirational movie in America. So I'm going to watch this. And then when I'm done watching it, I'll tell you guys what I think. And then that will be probably the rest of the vlog. And until tomorrow.
right. Um, I was going to watch this movie. But for some reason, this DVD player is just, like, not working. Like, I couldn't even get it open for, like, the longest time. I got it open. But it's just not fucking doing anything. It just, like, turns on and turns off. I don't know. But I don't really want to deal with. But yeah, I don't really want to deal with it because it's really frustrating me. Uh, I mean, I really did want to watch the movie, but I'm just gonna have to find something else to do. And, um, but I think it's probably gonna be the rest of the vlog for tonight. Um, but yeah, if you guys uh, got anything out of this, hit the like button, leave a comment. If you know anybody with uh, bipolar or maybe uh, mood disorders or addictions or anything like that, you know, don't forget to share this video um, and share my channel. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.